We continue our coverage of tragedy in the Northland. On Monday, KCPD did a welfare check at a home near Green Hills Road. Police found the bodies of 38 year old Dominique and 12 year old Jarrell McGeechee Jr. Now their deaths are being investigated as homicides. Police also found the body of Jarrell McGeechee Sr. who appeared to die by suicide. Their deaths shocked neighbors and loved ones, especially the loss of young Jarrell Jr. Our reporter Megan Abundas found out last night that Bright student left a strong impression on everyone who knew him, especially those who heard him speak at a Martin Luther King Jr. event. For him to get up and, and command uh, the audience and to own the moment uh, that uh, he worked so hard for um, definitely spoke volumes uh, of this young man's confidence. A young man who would have made profound impact, I'm certain. Tonight, a sorority sister of his mother, Dominique, is sharing her memories of both victims. KSHB 41's Alyssa Jackson passed the mic to Nichelle Williams to learn more about two lives cut short. There isn't an age when you're supposed to start reaching for the sky. I may be young, I may be young but I am, but I am somebody, somebody. Before Jarrell McGeechee Jr. owned a room, many people probably just saw him as a 12-year-old until he spoke. I had just walked up and I said, young man, I just want your name and I want your signature and I want you to know that one day you are going to be one of the most famous young men in the world. Behind many great kids are great parents like Jarrell's mother and Nichelle Williams sorority sister, Dominique McGeechee. She was a mother of all mothers. Um, she loved her baby. She entrusted her baby. She lifted and motivated and inspired her baby. But what a lot of people may not know is she prayed over her baby. She ensured he was connected to God first. You would just think this kid truly came directly from heaven into their lap. Jarrell Jr.'s life was taken in a murder-suicide along with his parents. This is a true testament to the freedoms that are commonplace for our nation. It's just sad. It's, it's really sad, but I hope that if he didn't leave anything, he reminded young boys that it's okay to be authentic and it's okay to be yourself. Williams thought one day the 12-year-old would take the world by storm. Tomorrow's just not promised. At his age, he captivated, he dreamed, and reached for the mountaintop. And I've seen the promised land. In Kansas City. I mean, I'll get there with you. But I want you to let you know that we as a people will get to the promised land. Alyssa Jackson, KSHB 41 News.